<laughs> I'm not even sure I remember how to do this. All right, friends, it's been a while. We thought that we would give y'all an update on what's been going on, where we are, all the things. And um, I had trouble finding my equipment, putting everything together. It's been two and a half months since I've posted anything. I have filmed little clips here and there, but I haven't done anything with them, haven't edited them. And so, um, yeah, we'll see if we can get back on track today. All right, how, where do I start? Uh, why'd we quit filming? Okay, why, all right, that's a, yeah. good, that's a good place to start. The last video that I posted was uh, on, I think it was like July 17th, and it was the one where we were organizing Sophie's room, and at that point, we had no idea what was getting ready to happen. So the weekend after I posted that video, uh, we started thinking about kind of like our long-term future and uh, what we wanted to do and where we wanted to be. And um, so kind of, it was kind of one of those perfect storm things where a lot of things started happening at the same time and just kind of made us think about what we wanted to do, right? Right, yeah. So the first thing that happened that was kind of, you know, a stressor for me, and um, I, I guess that's it's kind of the, it's not why we did this, but it was a contributing factor, and it was one of the first things that start, started getting us thinking what we wanted to do, and that was that my mom had become really unhappy where she was. So if y'all have been following us for a while, you know that I think it was like in March, um, she sold her house, and she moved into a, it's basically like a senior independent living apartment. So it wasn't, it didn't have like different levels of care. It was just basically an apartment for seniors, and so they did the cleaning and the cooking. Um, she didn't have to do the housework and that kind of stuff. But she really wasn't happy there. She really didn't like it. Um, and so then at that point, it was kind of like, what are we going to do? You know, what do, what do we do to improve her situation? You know, we thought about moving her in with us, but our house... Didn't really accommodate. Didn't really, yeah, it didn't really work because we did. We do have a uh, guest room upstairs, but that guest room is kind of, it doesn't have like a normal door. There's a little bit of a hole in the middle, and so... It you, lacks privacy. It lacks... Or full, full privacy because the living room is right below. Right. It's just, and it can be really noisy and um, all that. So it just wasn't like a good functional long-term solution. Although my mom has lived with us periodically here and there when she's needed to and stayed up there, kind of stayed with us for short periods of time. And it's a good guest space, but it's not a good long-term space. So that was a situation that we started thinking about. Also, um, Gary had gotten to the point where he was never there because he was working out of town way more. And um, most of his jobs that he would need to take were nowhere near the low country of South Carolina where we were living in Hilton Head. And so... Um, yeah, most most of the work was like the middle part of South Carolina where we used to live and above. Yeah. Like 85% like of the work was. And so just to drive from Hilton Head to where we used to live in the Columbia Lexington area was two a two and a half hour drive in itself. And then you had to take tack on everything else wherever else you're going beyond that. And so those drives were just... I was on the road more, and the the road travel was was far more, and it just it was it was. There was fun. never a time. It was it was rare that you had a job where you didn't have to be overnight, and so it was mm -hmm. kind of turning into more of like leaving on Sunday or Monday and coming back Friday, so you were gone pretty much all week. In some cases, yes. Most every week. Mm -hmm. So and that was that was definitely a toll on Gary, but also you know quality time, family, all that kind of stuff. That just wasn't good. So that was an issue. And then, um, if y'all have been watching a while, you also know that Gary's car was um, hit over, by a tree. Yeah, over Memorial Day weekend. It was just a normal storm overnight, no, nothing big at all. And then I just happened to walk outside uh, the next morning to, I think I was checking your plants that were on the front porch thinking, well, the wind was up a little bit last yeah, night. Yeah. Maybe your plants got blown over and I opened the door and there was a large pine tree, uh, you know, going yeah. directly across the back end of my Toyota. 
Completely totaled it. Yeah, totaled the Toyota completely. So, so that ha that kind of got us thinking more about risk mm -hmm. and what it really means to live on the coast in the low country of South Carolina. And we were not on the beach, but we were close enough to the water where flooding was a concern and uh, definitely wind, that sort of thing. And a, and a few, was it like a couple months later, we got our homeowners policy and there was like a lot of buzz in the neighborhood about people who like their homeowners insurance dropped them. They couldn't get insurance. They couldn't get flood insurance. And it, was, it wasn't it was related to anything that happened in South Carolina. It was because of some previous hurricanes that had happened in Florida, but it was still affecting the market. Mm -hmm. Then we got our homeowners insurance policy and it doubled and it was over $10,000 for the year. And that was not even flood. That's just your normal homeowners policy, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it went from an already high Four thousand and something to close to ten. It was over ten. Yeah, and then we we actually were able to get it shot uh, and bring it down to seven, but mm -hmm. it was still that that was with no claims, no yeah. no hurricane activity in in Hilton Head the, the year prior. And the scariest thing about that too was that, you know, like you said, no claims. A lot of people that did file claims for whatever reason. Um, like we could have filed a claim to have the tree removed because it was like a huge tree like we had to have it removed mm -hmm. and it was costly to have the tree removed obviously the car situation was under the car insurance but if you do file a claim usually you just get dropped so <laughs> you can't really use the insurance you're paying for so that was like really uh, concerning as well so with all these things kind of happening at the same time and and particularly knowing that my mom was unhappy we started thinking, so the weekend after I posted that video about um, organizing Sophie's room, um, we started thinking, do we want to be in Hilton Head? Like, is this where we want to be long term? And I think we were both surprised when the answer was, we didn't think we'd do anymore. Like, we have been happy in Hilton Head and we thought we wanted to retire there, but there's kind of just some factors as to why we're not sure that's the great idea anymore for I mean for one the cost um, obviously when you're in retirement you're on a fixed budget and you know most people are feeling the pinch from inflation and everything but we have a different situation than most people because it's not just that we need to be able to retire and we're worried about ourselves but we have also come to the conclusion that more than likely Sophie will be with us and we have to make sure that she's taken care of you know long term we have to be responsible so if we could be somewhere else that we could be just as happy and not spending, you know, all of this exorbitant amount of money on, well, it, everything, groceries are higher, everything in Hilton Head is higher because it's a tourist area. So the question was, is it worth it, I guess, mm -hmm. is really what it was. And um, so we started trying to figure out, well, where would we want to, if not Hilton Head, then where? Right. Where would we want to be? And so Gary asked me that and I said, for me, I need to be in South Carolina. I don't want to leave South Carolina. So then it was kind of like, okay, where in South Carolina do we want to be? And also for our job, our work, our consulting firm. Right. Really, South Carolina makes a lot more sense, although we do work sometimes in Florida, Georgia, North Carolina. We, yeah. The bulk of our work and kind of our, you know. Pretty, it's pretty much, again, Columbia and right. east, west, north of of the central part of South Carolina. So yeah, right. staying in South Carolina just made the most it sense. It makes the most sense. And and we're also called Palmetto EHS, so right. there's right. that. <laughs> so yeah, so another another thing is is that, you know, much like a lot of you guys, I mean, the two places that people like to vacation or, or spend time around the most are the, the beach and the mountains, right? Mm -hmm. So we're big mountains people just like we are beach people as well. And so we started thinking, okay, what about the, uh, you know, the foothills of the upstate of, um, of South Carolina, which Colleen grew up in Greenville. Mm -hmm. um, so she's kind of familiar with the area. Um, and so we just kind of started doing some searches and, um, you know. So we ended up in the upstate of South Carolina. We're not going to be more specific than that, but <laughs> that's where we ended up. And um, so it's been a bit of a whirlwind. So a little bit kind of on the timeline. So the last video I posted, we had no plans to move. 
that weekend we kind of formulated a plan where we would start looking into other options and the, the week after that which would have been the first week of August we listed our house in Hilton Head we closed in Hilton Head on um, August 21st and we closed here on August 24th mm -hmm. so August was a bit of a whirlwind with um, selling the house packing, um, putting things in storage, you know, moving up here, all, all of those types of things. And then September was a whirlwind of kind of getting moved and getting settled in and um, doing all the things that needed to happen here. So another complication, um, so as far as why we didn't film, this is a good bit of it. It's just that we've been so busy and just haven't had the time to do it. I've had to focus on my mom and Sophie and getting them settled and, um, making everybody comfortable and I just haven't had time to pick up the camera film and edit and get videos up so that was just a practical reason why I didn't do it and then once um, I guess I didn't film for a while then I started thinking do I want to continue YouTube and I wasn't sure if I did I think I've come to the conclusion that I do and I think a lot of that is because of all the you know kind messages that y'all have sent me we really do appreciate that um, text messages, uh, Facebook messages, Instagram messages, and then, you know, comments on some of our videos and stuff. So we really do appreciate y'all and, um, and your concern for our family. And I'm sorry that we kind of just left you hanging and didn't say anything about all this, but it was just kind of like we didn't have time to do it. And then we also didn't really know what to say, mm -hmm. you know, kind of being in the middle of it. Last time we moved, we were able to document it, but it was a different type of situation. The other thing that kind of complicated stuff and just made everything a little bit harder, I think, was the fact that we sold our house furnished, which um, that's a weird thing to do in South Carolina, but it's not a weird thing to do in Hilton Head. It's actually pretty normal, especially if you live in a resort neighborhood like we did. Um, and so in many cases, the expectation is that it's going to be furnished. You absolutely have to leave all your appliances, including your washer and dryer. You can't get away without doing that. You can't take your refrigerator. That's just like standard in Hilton Head. Um, but many times you also have to sell your house furnished because the person buying it is either going to be using it as a second home or using it as a vacation rental. So we had numerous vacation rentals even on our street. Mm -hmm. So. You know, we didn't know who was going to buy the house or who was going to be interested in it. But, um, you know, at the advice of our realtor, we had to kind of plan for all possibilities. So that threw an extra wrench into everything because it required us to start moving early. So like before our house was even listed, we had to get a storage facility. We had to start pulling things out. Um, so there were certain things that we didn't want to convey with the house like Sophie's dollhouse and um, just certain things like that so you know those things are, are recliners that we bought off mm -hmm. Facebook marketplace those had to be taken out of the house and then the house had to be kind of like set up differently for pictures so that those items wouldn't be present because if you if you um, have certain things that you say okay that doesn't convey but it's in the pictures then our realtor was saying that can get really confusing people get in arguments about it and you know it just causes issues that you don't have to do so he just recommended that everything that we really didn't want to um, convey with the house that we take out of the house so there was that but then the other thing that we had to do was um, when he said you know when he said it yep self furnished um, I was like, well, what does that mean exactly? Is it just furniture? And he's like, no, it's sort of like an Airbnb. So, like, you're leaving your bed linens, you're leaving your <laughs> dishes, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So, I had to go through and I had, um, I had upgraded some of my kitchen stuff kind of over time, over a three or four year process. And I had just been kind of pulling things out just here and there, just in case Katie might want them when she, like, gets her own apartment or whatever. And obviously Katie didn't really care about any of that. <laughs> it was just kind of like, whatever, you know, I'll use it if you want me to. So um, we went through and we took that stuff and we kind of swapped out. So some of, you know, like our uh, baking pans and um, things like that. So, but then there were other things that we didn't have duplicates of like silverware and dishes and we just had to buy them again. Mm -hmm. So um, we spent a lot of the end of August and early September, like buying things that we didn't think we'd ever have to buy again, or not for a long time anyway. Um, so we had, to, I mean, coffee pot. 
our toaster oven thing. You know, yeah, it's yeah, a lot of stuff. Bed linens, beds, mattresses, yeah. you name it. I mean, it's literally everything. These rocking chairs. Yeah. So the it, grill. It, yeah. So it was that was kind of crazy and a little bit weird and disconcerting as you're walking through your house and you're leaving. It's a totally different experience than just selling your house, packing your stuff up and leaving because we were mostly packing up like our personal belongings and clothing. Now we were, we had intended to replace Katie and Sophie's beds anyway with queen size beds because mm -hmm. Sophie had a, a, a twin and Katie had a full um, and there was no um, like guest room here. So um, yeah, we, we weren't going to bring their bedding or their beds, but we would have brought ours and we would have potentially brought the one upstairs. Um, but anyway, it did help. It did help with moving. Yeah, it was, there were there pros was positive, and cons. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, the pros, we could sell the house for more money, um, because all that stuff was being included. The cons, um, you know, obviously we had to buy all this stuff over. And another pro was that it was easier to move in some ways because I mean, it was easier to move on the back end because we weren't moving furniture. Right. But on the front end, Small there were boxes there were and things stuff that we, well, no, there were on the front end there was uh, like we had to take stuff out of the house and we had to do that in like a two day period, so it was like really stressful. Remember? Mm -hmm. So that was a con. But anyway, it's been a whirlwind, and all I, this was like five weeks. Yeah. From making the decision. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It was four weeks because we we yeah. started the process the last the big on that Monday the last Monday July. of July right. and we closed here on August twenty fourth. Yeah. So, yeah, in four weeks we did all that. Yeah, and I continued to be gone during yeah. the week, so that left you guys with a lot of stuff. Yeah, to do I was basically back yourself. and forth up up and down the road um, with the girls doing inspections and whatever because Gary was still traveling because we didn't plan any of this mm -hmm. so you know we didn't take off any time or whatever so it was crazy yeah. and then we left my mom where she was until uh, we got to the very end and we closed on the house in Hilton Head and then we all kind of came up here together and we had to move into a, um, a vacation Airbnb, rental yeah. type situation um, for what, like five days or something? Yeah, I think we got it for a week, but didn't really use it, but yeah. like three or four days. We ended up closing a little bit early here. Right. So, we will not put information about the house in this video, but we will probably, that will probably be the next video, um, like a, a tour or whatever. But um, this was a spec home. So, it was like a custom builder built it, but he just, it, we didn't have any say so in any of the things. Um, we just chose to buy it. It was already done. Yeah. So there definitely would be some things that in the future we might change, but for the most part, I think it was, I think we like most of it. The floor mm -hmm. plan is a good floor plan for us, particularly with my mom here, but we'll have more on that in the next video. But, um, and I know many of y'all are uh, probably thinking, well, what about Katie? What is she doing with school? Um, that, that's been, um, you know, kind of the first question that I've gotten from like most of my friends and stuff. Um, Katie was... Katie dropped out. She's just not... <laughs> okay. Kidding. <laughs> I'm like, why? What, what did she tell you that? Um, Katie, we kind of offered her an opportunity to do whatever she wanted to do. So if she wanted to stay where she was, then we were going to either get her on campus housing or do uh, like an apartment or something nearby, but she did not want to stay behind that far away by herself. So she is choosing to do a transfer to another school. And, um, you know, I didn't say where she had been going, so I'm not going to say where she's going to be. Um, here, but it is going to be a similar situation where she does want to live at home and commute, so she'll be a commuter still, um, but she's going to be finishing her schooling up here. So she this year she's a junior. So what we did to kind of facilitate that was we just made sure that um, she took enough classes this semester because she's still enrolled in her current school now um, for this fall semester. So we just made sure that she had enough classes to where she could keep her scholarships. Um, and wouldn't lose those, but we also um, made sure that all of her classes were online because she's not able to go back and forth. It's just, it's too far. It's like five hours. Mm -hmm. So, 
um, you know, that obviously wouldn't be feasible. So when we, um, we're in the process of getting her transferred to the new school now and, you know, applying and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully we'll have all that set and in January she'll be starting at the new school and I think she'll have three semesters left. It's possible that because of the transfer, it may take her four semesters. Um, she's basically, as it stands right now, would be graduating a year early anyway, so she has plenty of time if she does need to take an extra semester um, for whatever reason, you know, to, to get the program that she wants to do or even if she decides to change it up a little bit. So um, that is good. So I guess if y'all have any questions, you know, let us know down below and if it's uh, something we're willing to answer. <laughs> like we're not going to give you our address, but if it's something we can answer, we'll answer those either in the next video or down in the comments. Um, again, we really appreciate all of your um, concern and um, you know, the sweet messages that y'all have sent us. We appreciate y'all so much. And I guess that's it for this video. Is there anything else? No, I guess what was almost, almost October. Mm -hmm. So as far as stuff coming in the house and stuff like, like that we ordered and, and had to re replace, we're almost done now, right? Yeah, we're close. It did take, it took, took us about, you know, that, I guess that's a con as well. It's just that it took us about a month to get, to get mm -hmm. everything that we needed. So, you know, we had like a, we yeah. got mattresses and we were sleeping on mattresses on the floor for a long time. And then we, empty living room. Yeah. Well, we did keep my dining room table and a sideboard, which broke in the move. So that had to go, but um, we did keep the dining room table. We put that, uh, we didn't have to put that in storage. We exempted that as pretty much the only thing mm -hmm. that we exempted. And so it moved with us with our boxes. So we did have a place to eat. So that was really good yeah. <laughs> that we did that because we didn't have bar stools or anything. Right. So. But we're, yeah, I mean, the new house video will show all the stuff. Yeah, probably what I'll do is show like an empty house tour and then maybe in the same video show kind of where we are now or either doing a new video. I don't know. Right. I don't know. It's hard for me to think through these things anymore. It just seems like the two and a half months of not filming and editing seems like two and a half years. Mm -hmm. it, it only <laughs> you know? took her about 15 to 20 minutes just to find camera pieces and parts. I know. <laughs> here and there. So Yeah, and a lot of it was in the car because it's just been there since we moved, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know. How do I end my videos? I don't remember. We'll just end it now. They don't really say anything. Remember? Like, just kind of just yeah, that just seems so mean, though. Just to just cut it off. Mm. Yeah. Maybe that's what you should end it <laughs> on. <laughs> All right. We'll see y'all next time, friends. Bye. Bye.